my cat is back. No way. Oh what if it's not like a spirit that we can't see, but what if it's in there? You would not tell me that there's not something right here. Dude, that thing's going off the charts. Oh, that's going off the mirror. Clearly there was a spirit here, bro. I'll be here in about five minutes, so you guys need to leave. I'm sorry. But if they find us, it's over. We're going to jail. We'll go to jail if you're found, yeah. Oh, we're done. Oh, there's a car. There's a car, bro. We gotta go. Keep going. Over the past decade, we've spent the night in hundreds of locations across the world. In some of the craziest places. And to end the year off, we're bringing you nine brand new overnight challenges that will be dropping every single Friday from here until the end of the year. And one of the episodes is even going to involve one of you guys. So subscribe right now and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an opportunity to be in an overnight challenge with the boys. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the season three premiere of the Overnight Marathon. Today, we're gonna be attempting to spend the night in one of the most haunted witch towns in the entire world. Casadega, Florida. It is known for having many psychics and mediums that reside there and are said to have a special connection to the spiritual realm. And for that reason, it has been named the psychic capital of the entire world. Our mission today is to infiltrate the Casadega spiritualist camp and find out what is really going on. It's time to hit the road. Let's go. Episode one. Episode one, let's get it boys. Let's go baby. Let's go. It is now time for us to make our way to the haunted Casadega Hotel. This place is notorious for paranormal Activity. But we are not attempting this alone tonight. Because of all the stories we have heard and all of the so-called spirits that roam this Casadega area, we thought it would be best if we got the help of ghost hunting expert and paranormal activity specialist. This guy has been doing it over a decade. He is no joke. He's all business. And right now, we are on our way to go pick him up. He says he has everything he needs, all the equipment, and all the resources to hopefully encounter a spiritual being tonight. He's got everything. All we gotta do is find him. Yo, 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 yo. Is that him? Yo, I think it's him up there. Dude, no one else. Wait, what is it? Yo, what is him. he doing? Is he in the middle of the road? What is he doing? Yo, are you guys looking for ghosts? Is it you that you called? We did call. Yeah. This is not what I expected, though. Are you, you sir? Uh, I am. You're the one, the only, DJ Gosaloso. This is not what I expected, uh, bro. You, is this who you hired? Bro, he had a five-star rating on Craigslist. What do you What do you mean? Th this guy? Yes. Ten years in the game, I've been searching for spirits. Don't touch my blaster. Disrespect me? You know who I am? You know who I am? Who are you? I'm DJ Gosaloso. You, you already said that. Yeah, you, you already said that. So, do you actually know anything about Casadega? Do I know anything about Casadega? They say visitors that visit Casadega, they report strange feelings of constantly being watched by spirits or unseen things, especially after dark. Casadega is not a location you want to play with. If you really want to do this, you need to let me know now. There's no going back if you say yes. We have to do it. We got to do it. We have to do this. This is episode one of season three. We have no choice. We're doing it. Welcome to the Ghostbuster team. Now, get naked. You can't go in ghost hunting with your clothes on. You must use the nice radioactive. I got this on Amazon, $5.99. <laughs> This guy's not real, bro. I'm the real estate cop. You cannot go ghost hunting wearing that. You must wear the proper attire. Wait right here. I'll be right back. 
This is the guy you hired, bro? Bro, he looks legit, bro. Like, he he does look legit, bro. Yeah, I mean, you. He's got the uniform. He, he, he's got the, the talk for it. Oh, what's up? In these bags is exactly what you're going to need to stay safe tonight. They're equipped with the highest technology and the best gear to keep you guys safe from spirits from afar. Put them on now in order to continue this mission. Now ready for this adventure. Ghostbusters on three. One, two, three. Ghostbusters! Welcome. Yeah, you're going in the back, buddy. In the back? Yes. I'm a 10 year veteran. Back seat. I should sit in the front. Back seat. All right, boys. Right now, we are headed to the Casa Dega Hotel. This hotel is notorious for paranormal activity. There are reports that visitors wake up to shadowy figures standing at the foot of their bed and sometimes even their sheets being ripped off by unseen phenomenon. That's where we're going to be spending the night. I don't know where you're getting your sources from, but that is 100% true. We also do not want to stay in the last room all the way to the back. Most haunted room ever. Don't stay there. I mean, chances are low, you know? So many rooms? Yeah, there's so many rooms. For now, we probably won't get it. I'm getting nervous, bro. I guess we're getting closer. There's no one else. You don't feel a little... I definitely feel a little bit of spooky, weird vibes, if I'm being honest. Yo, boys. Casadega Spiritualist Camp. The boys have officially entered oh my God. the Whoa! ghost house! Bro, look at that! Look at that house, it looks scary! Bro, you're gonna upset the, you're gonna wake up the spirits! You feel the spirits now! My Hotel Casadega, right there. Reportedly one of the most haunted hotels in all of the area. And dude, look at all of us. They know we mean business. Honestly, the ghosts are gonna be afraid of us, buddy. There's literally psychic readings right over there. We gotta get moving because we actually scheduled a psychic reading for you, Mr. Ghostbuster, in the back. For me? Yes, bro, we know you've been on such a journey. You've captured and conquered so many ghosts in your day, and this is the elusive one that's been evading you in your dreams. My love of my life. Well, uh, the psychic, they will help explain everything that's been going on with you. In my mind. In your mind and in your life. Get going. Let's go. Backpack's on, you. Backpack's on, come put on. Put it on, put it on. How's this going? Oh, a little strap. Buddy, it's a backpack. Can we just take the ramps up here? Can you hear the guy? <laughs> Yo, Bucky. Yo, Bucky. Yo, Bucky. I couldn't take it seriously. Bro, no, stop. Wait, look, stop. Bro, if they think we're joking around, they're not going to give him a reading. You know, if they don't give him a reading, he doesn't find the love of his life. This is we're almost here, you. Almost as porn as a wedding day. Focus. Right, you're right, bro. Everyone's mom? Ghostbusters on three. One, One two, two, three. Ghostbusters! Bro, come on! Go! Bro, his appointment's right now. We can't miss it. This is the last one of the day. Hi there. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Is Seriously? This, we're, we're actually being real. Seriously, oh. yeah. Are you uh, Richard? Yes, ma'am. Richard? Okay. Why is everyone laughing at us? In your Ghostbuster outfit. Okay, you know, we don't permit any type of paranormal investigation, right? No. Okay, so who's getting the reading with Sandra? This guy. I've been having lots of dreams recently. Okay, don't tell me, tell Sandra. Okay. Okay? Can I ask you to stop recording? Yeah, he, well, we're gonna, it's just for him. <coughs> we're filming this for him. Okay. Yes. It's mainly just to document his journey. He, yeah. He, Gone to a lot of different readers. There's a four hour drive here. Gotcha. Yeah. I understand. I mean, she's probably not going to let you film in the reading. Okay. Just so you know that. Okay. Okay. You two are staying the night? Yes. But you are not. Because the fire marshal tells us we can only have two in the room. But what about the others that stay in this place? I've heard that there's sometimes other people in the room that, that you don't know about. The activity? Mm -hmm. I'm being real. I don't know why you're smiling. So who's Richard? You're Richard, right? Yes. I'm going to have you fill this out. And you are DJ, right? I am DJ, correct. Hi, DJ is here for you. So, we don't use that word because there's not 
spooky, scary stuff going on. There is energy and activity, but Thank depends you. on what you're bringing in. This here might get you maybe not so nice things. Ghostbusters. Oh. <laughs> the tick. All of them? No, just TJ. <laughs> Wait, say. they can't come with me. Yeah. No. Can I get One person for no, reading. Can I get your picture of all of you first? Wait, why? Because it's so damn silly. <laughs> but what, there's no way. I'm very terrified of such things. And I really don't want to go alone. It's like a more support. I literally drove four no. hours. Can we, do a, can we do a thruple? We don't have a gun. I'm going home. We can make it a short one too. Absolutely not. I'm locking this place up and going home. <laughs> Just to get my one, one reading. They're going to want to film it. They're doing silly stuff here. This so is not silly for This no. is real for us. You guys are doing silliness here. This is not silly You're for us. You're filming. I had to ask you to stop you guys filming. Are... No, Sandra. You do one 30 minute reading, then we're out of here. Okay? Okay. We have signs all over here. There is no filming. No investigations no, without no. advance permission. Okay. Or they can schedule for tomorrow an hour session. So you can definitely do that from 11 to 12. Maybe we'll take the night and, and think what's best. You want to do that? Yeah, just so yeah. there's no rush and it's just. Yeah, like, okay. Know. We can that do that. Better. To get to your room, there's a hallway back there. You're all the way down. It's the last room on the left hand side. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Is anybody here? Right here. Last door on the left. We also do not want to stay in the last room all the way to the back. Don't stay here. There's no way we're the last door on the left. Bro, look at that hallway. That is out of a horror movie. This is crazy, bro. Keep it real. Serious business we're doing right now. I feel like I'm already getting a reading room. It just looks like one of those rooms that you see in a scary movie. <laughs> and we're the very last door in the hall on the left side. She thought we were joking around. I know. Dude, they were laughing at us. They were taking pictures of us. As soon as we start filming and taking pictures and laughing with them. Yeah. And you know also something that I found very suspicious? They don't allow paranormal investigations unless they give an okay, which means like, it seems like they're hiding something. What are they hiding? And that's why we're here. They don't want the truth to be exposed. But you know what we are? The truth. Ghostbusters. The truth tellers. The truth revealers. And the truth the, seekers. The honest Abrahams. Wait, hold this, hold this, wait. I'm getting a reading, I'm getting a reading. It's up here, it's up here. Silent reading, silent reading. Silent but very deadly. You gotta be careful for those. They sneak up on you, you don't see them. By the time you smell it, it's too late. Just like a ghost, you can't see it. But by the time you know it's there, it's over for you. And that's what we're gonna find today. We're gonna find a ghost. They said we're making fun. If anything, we're trying to prove what they believe in to be real. I was trying to tell them, imagine going to a wedding and not wearing a suit. Imagine going to a basketball game and not wearing a uniform. Yo, something else that I just noticed. Every other hotel that I've been to, there's always a peephole on the door so you can look out. Look at this door. No people. By my calculations, that's against regulation, boys. Yo, that means. Dude, you're gonna rip a hole in that suit. <laughs> There are entities leaving my body right now. Isn't that what this place is for, bro? Oh, wait, hold up. Dude, what is this guy doing? I'm quitting. Bro, I'm quitting. Honestly, at this point, right honestly, I'd kick him out. What is this door? Probably a bathroom. <laughs> Probably what this guy needs to go into right now. <laughs> Lock in, bro, get... come on. Dude, we're taking this serious, bro. Serious. Bro, get off of me, bro. Get off of me, bro. Dude, game? get off of me, bro. Is this a game? Dude, get yeah. off of me. Lock it, get down. Lock it. Bro, I'm trying. What are you doing, bro? This is not a joke. We're in the haunted city. I know, bro. 
and you're out here trying to fart. Lock in, bro. I'm not trying to fart, bro. There's something that it feels like something's inside of me. I'm trying to get rid of it. Leave it in the past. He needs to escape. I see what he's doing, actually. Something. Oh, there we, there we go. Let's go. I'm ready. This man thinks it's a joke. Bro. Bro, it's not a joke. Is that a joke? Is that a joke, buddy? All right, bro. bro no. Dude, he just poops his pants and then goes, yo. For real, guys, for real. Bro, for real, guys. Let's focus. They lock the doors of this hotel at night. And the only way you can get back in if you leave is if you have this key right here. So everyone, make sure you keep your phones just in case you get locked out. Everyone have their phone on there? Got mine right here. Everyone have their, this? It's called a blaster. Everyone have Dude, blaster. take this serious, bro. Dude, I am, bro. Hold this. Wait. There's something that I can't hold. Dude, if you <laughs> fart one more time, I'm going home. Honestly, you know what's crazy? Is that every time that he's tried to rip one, they've only been silent ones. Since the moment we got in here, that's four silents in a row. And he's not fond of having silent farts. He's not a silent guy. Normally, I'm a he's loud a, and proud type of guy. Interesting to me. Yo, can we turn, can we turn this light on? Bro, what the heck are you on? No cap. Fab, for real. Why is he acting like me? No, bro, as soon as we got in the room, my stomach started feeling weird. That, that's no joke, bro. Maybe it was the five bowls of Chipotle you had this morning before we drove over here, buddy. Bro, you can't. Both of you guys. Bro, it's no so bad. Y'all are disrespecting the ghosts, and y'all need to stop right now. You're gonna sleep, and they're gonna be right next to you every time. Stop. Well, dude, if they're right next to me, they're right next to you, buddy. Yo, 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 yo. Shh, 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 shh. You, bro, what's wrong with you? Back is this guy, no, no, is this guy actually good, bro? No. Dude, he's been acting weird, bro. I never seen him like that. I've never seen him like that. And I'm not, yeah, no, I'm never seen him like that. Bro, I'm not even kidding either. I've never seen him like that. Oh my god. Bro, you know where we're at? Yes. We're in Casadega. This is the psychic capital of the world. Get it together. All right, I'm ready. Dude, you gotta remember, this guy being serious business. We hired this guy for the night. Okay. What do you guys think this is? It's probably a bathroom. See this? It says, please keep bathroom door closed, no? Maybe the ghost wants us to believe that. Why is there so much shampoo in here? There's so much shampoo. I'm surprised there's not a body in that, uh... That's asbestos. Step aside. It's all clear, nothing's in there. I definitely thought there was gonna be something in there. It's way too big and way too weird to be in the bathroom. Yeah. Do you see anything in there? I didn't see anything. Giving my expert opinion, I conclude that this room, it checks out for now, but that is only because we don't have our ghost equipment right now. We're gonna bring those out in a little bit and actually scan this place, because obviously ghosts aren't visible. So to the naked eye, we miss a lot of stuff. Exactly. We don't see exactly. what maybe these readers see and the equipment that this guy has. And as they say, as they say, there's more than meets the eye. Now that we cleared the room, it was time to go outside. Why do they care so much if there's unregulated investigations? And that's what we're gonna get to the bottom of tonight. Like a balloon. 
exhale and read Kuan Yin's decree. She will come to you. She will honor you. She will show you her love. This is what we're here, bro. This is why you're here. We'll be right here. We'll be right outside. We'll be right here. Good luck, bro. I promise. And, and just to make sure, should we close this off? Yeah. Just relax, bro. Try to relax, okay? No, for real. Are you being real? What? Darius, you're making stuff up. We're actually trying to find something for real. No, bro. No, but real. I, I actually. I'm actually. What do you mean? Actually, sit down. What do you mean, sit down? Sit down. You're not sitting in there. Wait, are you serious? Explain what you just felt. If you say, if you say what's on the wall, you get this tingling sensation, bro. Sit in there. See if I'm lying. Sit in there. Read that thing. Read the thing. And close your eyes. How am I supposed to read it if my eyes are closed? You say it and then you close your eyes and oh, you yeah. inhale. Exhale, brother. <laughs> It's the same voice that I've heard in my dreams. We can't let Nick in there for too long, bro. Nah, bro. I, I, nothing happened, bro. This dude's full of crap. No, bro. I heard my wife. Bro. You, bro. Let's go. Come on. Bro, don't disrespect my wife like that, bro. Look at this weird painting. That's that hallway we just walked through. That's the exact hallway. Dude, and then there's one kid right here. Looks like he's dead. This is a weird place, bro. And also, if you think about it, we haven't seen anybody else in this entire hotel the whole entire time. Except for the lady at the front desk and the psychic reader. And they both went home. Are we the only people staying in this entire hotel? What if they're setting us up? I don't know, bro. That lady gave me some weird vibes. She was on to us. Bro, but she was so... She kept on asking us, like, yo, stop filming, stop filming. What if they really think... What if those are the two? Excuse me, madam. How are you? Well, we're trying to find a reading. Do you know anyone that does them around here? I do, but there are most likely all of those for the day. Do you do them by chance? I don't. Is there anything else that we should know? We film like documentaries going around the around the world, really. And he kind of is our leader. And we're trying to shine some light on different towns throughout the world. Have you gone down to the ferry trail in Park? The ferry trail? Yeah. It's a couple streets down. There should be a sign that has a picture of you on it. There's actually something called the vortex. It's two palm trees that are side by side to each other. And you stand in the middle of the vortex and you're supposed to feel energies coming to you. Might have to go check that out, boys. Do you have permission to record here? Through the town. No, this is not through the town. This is our spiritualist camp. Mm -hmm. And we have a PR committee that if you would stop it, I would appreciate it. Okay, we'll shut, we'll shut it. Turn it off. If we can call our, our manager. If you have a little bit of permission, we should, and that's fine. Can we send it to you, or? Should we come back inside? Are you gonna be inside for a while? We are having our board meeting. Can we talk to them, or? No, it has a process. It goes through a process of application and everything. All right, let's give them a ring. Well, let's sit down over in these. Are you gonna go to your car? We acted like we were going to our car, but really? We just had to come up with a new game plan. I think what we need to do, boys, is put a pool on this investigation for now. And we're using that kind of use the darkness. I'm sorry, it's gonna... Ghostbusters on three. One, two, three. Ghostbusters. The time is currently 10.23 at night. A couple hours have passed by and it is now nighttime. We have still yet to see or hear anybody in this entire hotel. We have not seen one other person besides the two ladies in the very beginning. The lady that checked us in that didn't want us to record anything. And then the psychic reader that was acting a little strange as well. But besides those two, 
and us three, I don't think there's anyone else in this entire hotel except for maybe the spirits or the ghosts that we may encounter tonight. But it is pitch black outside now. Take a look. Nothing. So right now, with the darkness as our disguise, our game plan is to go out there and investigate the three hot spots of Casadega. Number one being this very hotel. Number two being the Casadega Energy Vortex, where it is reported spiritual and psychic abilities are heightened. And last, but definitely not least, we are going to the Devil's Chair. We'll explain in just a little bit what that place is, but it's reported that if you sit in that chair, it feels like someone's touching you, but there's no one there. A lot of people have reported that. One of us is sitting in there. Bro, you're the ghost expert, bro. You're bro. DJ Ghost bro, this, Aloso. This is why we brought you, bro. You're literally DJ bro. Ghost Aloso. Yes, but it's for me to show you guys the way. To so show us the way. I have already encountered multiple ghosts. When girls ghost you, that's a whole different thing, bro. That's not what we're talking about right now, okay? Well, you guys did bring the expert, DJ Gosalos. In this bag are devices that are gonna help us connect with the spirit world. Now, these are not no ordinary gadgets. What is this stuff? This one, um, this one you, you push the button and you get light when you walk around. It's like, no, please. that's not right. this. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a cat ball. How you use this device is when you press this button, the lights start going off. But if you place this here, rumors have it that sometimes they just go off by themselves. But they're not really going off by themselves. A spirit and energy is setting it off. So once we make it to the vortex in the devil's chair, we will be placing those around. And if those go off at any point, then you know. Something's happening. Yeah, I, I knew that. That's what I said. That's what I said. No, yeah, I know, I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was just hoping you up, bro. He just knows you're a little nervous for the chair later. Yeah, I just, because you make sure we have all the devices here. You're but doing good. You're doing good. Continuing on. In this bag, I have, ah, we call this. Um, When the ghosts, when the ghosts are near, it like, Beep beeps, you know? Yes, but it's it's actually called an EMF reader, aka an electromagnetic field reader. And when it feels an energy, a presence, they say it goes off. So honestly, right now, oh my gosh. Oh. Right there. Keep it. The higher it goes, that means the closer an entity is. While we're walking around to the vortex, to these different places, we keep this. I knew that. But guys, this device is the most important. Um, oh, yes. You know about this? Yes. Go ahead and explain to them. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is a REM pod. This thing actually cost a pretty penny. This thing was like $190, bro. What? This is the most legit piece of ghost finding equipment that we have. You pop it up like this, and how this one works is the closer something is to it, it will go off. So right now, this thing is actually insanely accurate. It better be for $190, you know what I'm saying? So nothing's near it, but then look how accurate this is. As soon as I put my hand near it, it's gonna go off, look. Not even touching it. If you back away and it goes off, then you know that something came close to it. Cause I mean, look, this thing is pretty accurate. I'm actually really excited to see what happens. There's no way this place is not haunted, bro. Ghostbusters on three. One, two, three. Ghostbusters. Brothers, season three. We've made it this far. Only Come. episode one though, bro. We still got... Damn. Oh, what the... Yo. Yo, yo, are you good, bro? You, Ricky literally just started choking. Bro, Me that's weird. Bro, that's not gonna do anything right now. Are you sure? There's someone not grabbing you? Dude, I don't... You guys won't even believe that. I don't even believe that. What, what happened? What happened? Bro, I started like trying to talk and I couldn't even talk. I can't even describe what just happened, bro. That was weird. But I'm gonna keep going, but that was very... You didn't even make it out of the room yet. And one more thing about tonight is we have to be extremely stealthy 
or going throughout the town because nobody here wants us to film. Literally every single person we've encountered has told us to stop filming and go back home. We have to. No, oh, well, look at this. Look at this. I'm setting this thing up right here in the lobby, bro. I said we sit down right here around this table and set up all the equipment and see if it goes off. set up all of the ghost equipment here in the lobby and now it's time to ask the spirits some questions and we'll see if they're here or not. Since we are here with the expert, I say we let DJ Ghost Loso ask the first question. Oh, uh, okay. Um, are there any ghosts in here? If you're here, come sit with us. This is weird, bro. I've never done this before. I, I don't know, but I feel Feel different. Bro, are you crying? Bro. Bro, you, you're real deal crying. Bro, are you good? Yo, Ricky's actually crying right now. Like I thought he was I thought he was joking. One hit. Hmm. You good, bro? Hmm. Why are you looking at the camera? This is weird, bro. This is really weird. Oh. No. This thing just went off right there. I barely got that on camera. One hit, bro. You, you, this is not the time for this right now, bro. This man's crying right now. I'm setting this back up. You guys will see if anything happens. Maybe we continue the journey. There's, there's something here, but we gotta go upstairs and then to the vortex. Let's go upstairs. I wanna leave. We have a room. Downstairs. Seven. Okay, you go downstairs. What is it here? No, you're not downstairs, please. Why is there so many here? It's in one of the You know You ever wanted all these years? Yes. You could tell us some more stories or no? No. That's all you have? That's all I got. Good night. in this entire place. That's the only room we heard noise from. And as soon as we walked upstairs, his door was the first one right in front of the staircase. And not only that, when we asked him why there's so many mirrors, he said that's what the owner wanted. Bro, this isn't adding up to me. To the vortex. This town during the day was creepy, but at night, it's even creepier. There's a problem actually. There's not an exact location or address for the vortex. I do remember the lady over here saying was in between two palm trees about this far apart. That's all I remember. So we gotta drive around until we find these palm trees. Let's go. I'm not 
mistaken, these are the two palm trees that the lady was talking about earlier. We got one palm tree on the left, and this other kind of palm tree on the right. Something in between, I have no idea. Apparently it's supposed to be a vortex in between, and you're supposed to feel the vibrations and get a heightened sense of awareness. Do you see this? This is someone's grave. In loving memory of George P. Colby. He passed away on my birthday, which is crazy. Are you real? real? July 27th. This is his grave. Gotta be so bad, boys. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo, you almost just pissed your pants, buddy. Oh my god. Bro, that's scary. What if that's his spirit animal? I said we set some stuff up right here yeah. on this table. He's following us. Do you have anything to say to the people watching? Is that a good They couldn't have been us, it doesn't even go off if you're way out here. What the f? Yo, the cat is back. No way. Oh my gosh. This bro. is crazy. Where did this cat even come from? This is, this is actually very interesting. We were talking about that and the cat came right up on us. What if it's not like a spirit that we can't see, but what if it's in there? That's what I'm saying. I think we're gonna switch over to the night vision camera and turn off all of the lights. Hello? How are we doing? Good, thanks. How are you doing tonight? Doing good. good. Okay, unfortunately you guys can't be here. It's night time, so you're officially trespassing. Oh really? We didn't yeah, know. We just got an alert. Cops sorry. will be here in about five minutes, so you guys need to leave. I'm sorry. Okay, we didn't know. Sorry. Yeah, I wanted to get here before the cops got here, so okay, yeah. Thank you. you. Can absolutely hang out here during the daytime and night time. Our What's camp is now? closed. That's an hour. We just got a massive reading. Oh, you did? Maybe the biggest one yeah. of our career. Oh, nice. Just keep it down. Um, I'll try and see if I can get the cops caught off of you because it wasn't me who called them. I would say just um, try to get out of here. Go, go over to Spirit Pond, and which hide? is right over there, and just hide. Then we're gonna get arrested. I mean, you probably would, yeah, because so? it is technically trespassing. But just don't, don't, just don't have your flashlights on. Okay, just keep it. as Okay, cool. we'll stay down. The fairy trail too up the road will probably be a good idea. There's no light over there. If you just go up that road, there's a dead end. There's fairy trail, and there's no lights up there. So, you, and that's a really good place to get activity as well. But if they find us, it's over, and we're going to jail. You will go to jail if, they, if you're found. Yeah. Alright, you guys have a good night. Be safe, okay? Thank you. Oh, come over here. Let's get out of here, bro. You just heard what you said? The cops are coming. Episode one of season number three. The boys have already experienced paranormal activity and the cops are getting called right now. She literally said if they find us, we're getting arrested and we're going to jail. This is out of a movie, bro. Yo, this cat is still this is the most interesting thing to me. We need to leave now. Yo, let's go. Dude, if the cops find us, we're done. I don't know. Somewhere. Not here. If we get spotted, there's no talking away out of this one. Yo, let's get out of here, bro. According to our research, it is said that Casadega itself is a vortex with smaller vortices in it. And one of those locations is the Horseshoe Park and Ferry Trail. right now so what we're doing is very very illegal do not try this at home what is all this stuff in here bro what is that over there maybe dude bro i feel like the cops are going to be second and then we're done forget the whole marathon forget everything we're arrested and it's over let's leave I feel like we have to do the readings here. We've gotten more and more each time. First we got the cat ball, then we got the rem rod. And look at this place. Bro, what is this? What is all that over there, bro? You that not tell me that there's not something right here. What is this? I say we do it in the middle. Okay, let's go. Set it up. 
Am I tripping? Or are you guys hearing a lot of weird sounds? You hearing that or no? Are you not hearing that? Mm -hmm. I can't tell if it's you pooping your pants or over there. Bro, that was in the beginning, bro. I'm in for real the whole time, okay? here right now give us a sign oh bro this just went up to red bro you know what you saw that bro uh, is this picking it up over there bro ask a question your turn spirits if you are here with us if there's anything Yo, I never seen it do that before. We gotta go. What does that mean? Wait, no, bro. Dude, I've never seen only that middle one. It makes that one. sound when you touch it. See, when you do that, that happens. Only the middle one. Look, when you touch it. That's what I was doing. And if you think about this, look. If a human were to touch this, look. You have to go up and then touch it. It went straight to that. And it's not like something was wrong with it. it, it now it's not. Clearly there was a spirit here, bro. What should I um, really ask? I don't know, you gotta look up some questions, I have no idea. It's good to know, huh? This is going crazy too. Yo. Oh, hang boy. back, hang back. Yo, 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 yo. Holy sh**. Dude, that thing's going off the charts. Bro, that's going off the meter. Bro, it's crazy. They're going off. Yo, there's they both there, just went off. There's multiple bias right now. Oh, should we start filming on there too? Yes, for sure. Because it's not picking up. Right when I took my phone. I'm going to go on my phone to see questions to ask it. And he's like, no. He's like, no, don't, don't do that. Like, don't ask anything. It's wild. I'm, I'm putting my phone away. I'm putting my phone away. Dude, because it doesn't want you to look up stuff. It wants you to ask genuine questions about your real curiosity. Yo, yo, yo. Was flashing. No way. Yep, there's one there. Yep, somebody's flashing, bro. Oh, yeah. I saw it. Yeah, I, think we, I think we gotta go. Yeah, let's go. Yo. Let's go. Pack up, pack up. Someone's here with us. Someone's actually here with us. Let's get out of here. They're right there. Yo, 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 yo. Flashlight, flashlight down the road. Flashlight down the road. Flashlight, it's right over there. Turn around. Yes, you see it? Two cops. Is it? It's cops. Should I drive fast or no? No, no, no. There's two cops. Oh, there was two cops, no cap. Bro, they set us up. There was actually two cops, bro. Did get you not out, see that? Yes. Bro, get out of here, Yo, bro. yo, put your seatbelt on. Bro, they're definitely gonna follow us. Yep, 100 that was two cops. If we didn't get out of there one minute sooner, it was over. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. I'm not, I can't, like, it's bad. We should honestly take these off. Yeah, let's take them off. If we get put over, there's no talking our way out of that. No, pull over, pull over. Let's get out of these uniforms. Just in case the cops see us, let's get out of these uniforms right now. to lay low a little while longer until we finally made it to the devil's chair. We are moments away 
I'm going to the most anticipated location in all of Casadega. But before we get there, we have to tell you about the greatest thing on this entire planet. The brand new season three overnight marathon merch right here. Take a look, we got that vintage car with the IBP gas station in the back, Route 24. 24 because we're spending 24 hours at all of these locations. And then my friends, the front is nice, but the back is absolutely naughty. Take a look right here. We got season three in the stars on top. Then we got the gas station, Ireland boys gas. Cause you know everything we drop is straight gas. And then underneath we got the vintage car with all the boys chilling on it. We got NCK, we got DJ Fabuloso. We got your boy one hit Rick with all the locations of where we're spending the night right here haunted witch town what we're doing right now we're literally living that photo in real life right now we're under a gas station we got the boys we're at the witch town this is real life and we are also right across the street from the police station that we were just running from somehow they haven't caught us i don't know how but who else is doing their own merch promo right across the street no one's doing it like your boys mm -hmm. and not only that on top of that we got the black but we also got the white NCK, show it off. Brody, come on now. We got the design up here in the corner and then check out the back on the white. The buddy. back come just on. pops on that white. The back of the shirt might be the hardest shirt we've ever dropped. If you want to cop it, go to the top link in the description or go to ibpmerch.com and cop it right now. Not only because it's a fire shirt, but we have an insane thing that none of y'all know about until right now let's get a zoom in on that shirt if you just missed it if we take a look at the very last location it says subscribers house you heard that right we're spending the night at one of y'all's houses and how you get entered to win that giveaway is all you have to do is cop a shirt or cop a hoodie and one of you guys will be getting a golden ticket in your order saying that we're coming to your house, spending the night. We're gonna go buy a trampoline, buy a PlayStation 5. Who knows what we're gonna do? Whatever you wanna do, we're gonna do it and we're gonna spend the night at your house for the final episode of the season finale of the season three overnight marathon. Go to ivpmerch.com right now and cop yourself a shirt, cop yourself a hoodie, cop yourself multiple because every time you buy something is a new chance to get entered. Whoever wins, it's gonna be crazy. So if you wanna be in the season three finale and have the boys spend the night at your house, go to ivpmerch.com or the top link in the description. And we'll see one of y'all very, very soon. Hopefully we make it there after, uh, I mean, we're about to go in the devil's chair, so. Two minutes away from the devil's chair. Like right, right here. Yo, what? This is crazy. Off the beaten path a little bit. Is huh? where it says to go? Yes. It says keep going straight. The devil's chair is a cemetery. This is the only place that they can bury people at. Yeah, for some reason, there's no cemetery in the actual Casadega grounds. This is it? There's a gate right up. It's there. open. Yo, yeah. film this, film this. What does that sign say? Cemetery hours, 9 a.m. to dusk. Any person? Yo, 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 no, 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 we can't go in. Yeah? No, bro, look at the sign right here. What does it say? Cemetery hours. Any person on the premises after 7 p.m. will be considered trespassing and will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. But we can't. Why, the gate's literally wide open. Bro, well, we've taken so many risks, bro. If we go in here right now... And the cops come, it's over. It's, no, we're, we're going to jail. If we go right now, they've been looking for us the whole entire night. So they're gonna be like, these are the guys that have been running away from us the whole entire night. This town is so tiny that stuff like this probably rarely ever happens. So when it does, especially YouTubers pulling up to their place, they're probably gonna set an example. It's so many signs that you see. This is what happened before Sam and Colby. Before we got arrested with Sam and Colby, we saw all the signs and yo, we did it anyway. And as much as I wanna go in there for y'all, if we go in there right now, there might not be an episode two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's exactly why I'm going right now. No, bro, no way. And by going, 
I mean, going back to that hotel and going to bed, buddy. We ain't going to jail right now. Yo, if the cops come up behind us, we're, we are actually cooked. I just yeah, realized that. All right, let's, let's yeah. get out of here. Why is this open? I feel like this is a setup. They're exploring all the places. This is the last place they're going to explore. And they're just waiting up there. And as soon as we get out, whoo -hoo, we're getting all the signs. We know what we should do. We should probably just go back to the hotel and go to bed. Bro, can we leave? There's the signs everywhere. It doesn't make any sense to go in there. It's a trap. That weirds me out that this is just open. We considered whether it was worth the risk or if we should go home now. And we came to a final decision. Yo, me and Ricky are sending it. DJ Fab, you sit in the front seat. We're running to that chair, sitting in it, and we're coming right, right back. back. Any other YouTuber, they're sitting in here, they're going home. IVP, we can't, bro. We don't, we don't even know where the exact location of the chair is. We're literally gonna be running through a cemetery at three in the morning. And on top of that, we have no idea if there's cameras, motion sensors. All we know is the chair is somewhere in the middle of the cemetery. The police station is half a mile that way. The cops almost caught us half a mile that way. We're right in the middle. We should not do this, but we're doing this. IVPmerch.com. We're spending the night at one of your houses if we make it through this. Subscribe if you haven't already because this is just the start of the overnight marathon. Season number three. Season number one was crazy. Season number two was even crazier. Season number three is off to a crazy start. And also, it's currently 3.18 in the morning. For spiritual people, it's apparently the most haunted and spiritual hour of the entire day. You're sitting in the driver's seat. You're going on the phone with us. And if the cops pull up while we're in there, we're not coming back. We're hiding in there for the rest of the night. But you got to stay calm. And you got to say you're the only one that pulled up. Because if we get caught in there, we are going to jail. And if we don't find that chair, I'm giving us five minutes in there. If we don't find the chair within five minutes, I'm coming back. Five minutes. Ghostbusters on three. Ghostbusters on three. <sighs> one, one, two, two three. three. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. This is so illegal, bro. This is so illegal. We're in the middle of a cemetery at three in the morning trying to find the devil's chair. If the cops find us, it's over. This way, this way. Is it? Let me see. We're going back. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Do I go sit in it? Go, go, go. Yo, I'm, I'm sitting in the chair right now, Fab. Alright, what do we do? Bro, I do not know. Alright. Yo, do you hear that? Yo, there's a car. There's a car, bro. We gotta go to the car. Go, 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 Yo, go, 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 Yo, go, 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 Bro, you guys, you guys did it. Bro, we found the chair. I didn't think we were gonna find you it. You did it. I didn't think we were gonna we find it. We almost got lost in there for a second. Yeah, bro. I, I felt like we were just waiting to be caught, and then we heard a loud engine. We thought the cops were coming. Bro, you just light off. I'm turning the light off, bro. Turn the light off. We are back at the hotel. But here we are, hotel Casadega. Our home for the night. <laughs> right now, oh, dude. We got, now we, now we gotta make it to the morning. Running around in there was the craziest. Bro, that did not feel like real life. I felt like we were in the middle of a movie scene. And Shout that's boys. why you guys are subscribed to the boys. No one else is sending it and risking it and putting it all on the line like this. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. Oh my gosh. Episode one, we're starting it off 
as insane as it can get. We still gotta make it to the morning. Go back in this haunted hotel. Let's go in, let's go in. Yo, what a night, boys. I just want to get this challenge over with. My heart's so racing, bro. That was one of the most wild three minutes of my entire life. And that's no joke. No joke. No joke at all. Oh, crazy for that, man. I think we're gonna go to bed. Or should I say good afternoon, brother? Or should I say good morning, Mr. Ghostaloso? Welcome <gasps> to Casa de Ica. Yo, what do you think they eat for breakfast here? What is the favorite vegetable? The ghost pepper. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Brother, brother, brother. What is this part of the shoe right here? We call that the sole. Brother, brother, brother. I actually made a mistake. The favorite fruit here is not a pear. It's a blueberry. I went to the hospital yesterday and the doctor told me that I have great blood. Uh, segment, segment. It was funny, my boy, but not as funny as what I'm about to say. <laughs> oh my gosh! I just got a text. All right? No, I didn't. Absolutely nothing. I think she ghosted me. Oh, that does make sense. You woke up like a skeleton this morning with a boner. <laughs> the, crazy part is, the crazy part is, how do you know that? Because I really did. Whoa, buddy. Hey, Y'all want to see mine? Dude, 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 yeah? Boys! <laughs> Finally! Let's go, baby! <laughs> Episode number one of season number three is officially completed. Subscribe right now because it means so much more than you know. Don't forget to cop the brand new merch. Link in the top of the description for a chance for all of us to spend the night at your house in the season finale. We love you guys, and until next time, yee! Hall of Fame on them, go damn on them, take shots in the main minute. Now, <clears throat> I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> From this moment on, our mission is to find out whether my seatbelt is on or not. Oh my gosh. Edge wood? That's what you did this morning, Garcia. You edge your wood. How's this going? Oh, a little strap. Buddy, it's a backpack. Buddy, I'll give you a little back on your pack. Please do, mate. Almost every single hotel that I've been to. Yo, really, bro? What are you doing? I'm about to say something good. Yo, 